The strike at Amcor in Des Moines is now on its eighth day, and today members of other unions from around the Midwest showed up on the scene to show their support for the local laborers. WHO 13 Zach Fisher was there. And we're over a week now of over 100 Amcor employees striking outside the building. Uh, you can see here on Sunday, we had a USW Local 310 joining 238 in the Solidary Picket. We're just asking for a piece of the pie that they have gotten. Our feeling from day one was to get back to work, but and that'll, that'll never change. We want to get back to work. What do we want? Yeah. Teamsters Local 238 joined on Sunday with other union members from across the Midwest. One member from Minnesota explains why he drove to Des Moines on Sunday. These are our sisters and our brothers, um, and we're standing in solidarity with them. They deserve a fair contract sooner than later. Um, you know, these guys aren't right exploiting labor. Martinez explaining that unions are stronger when they stand together. The two-hour solidarity picket featuring speakers. Because we're all fighting for the same thing. Live music. Start right the bag. And horns. Amcor is a world leader in packaging and, according to their website, totaling over $14 billion in sales. $14 billion in sales with the beat, and we're fighting for crumbs. And that number is what workers who have been working in the plant for decades are frustrated with. This company don't give a damn about us. We've been good workers. We showed up. We've been loyal. We've been excellent. We gave them a damn good product. And their product is shipped out, and it's all good. So they should be good to us as well as we've been good to them. And even with Amcor bringing in extra workers to help with labor needs, local 238 members are betting on themselves. I would expect that eventually they're going to run out. I mean, I'm sure they're going to bring replacement workers or scabs in to do, their, do the work, but I doubt they're going to be able to do as good as our people because they've been doing it for a long time. The people united can never be defeated. And the reason why the strike is happening is the deal that fell through last Saturday, both sides 2% apart. So that's what 238 is asking for is asking them to give them some crumbs to come up and then also asking for some respect when they go back to work. In Des Moines, Zach Fisher, WHO 13 News. Amcor reached out to us with a statement today keeping the same stance since the strike began, saying, quote, since early May, we've negotiated in good faith for a successor, a successful labor agreement with a union representing our Des Moines plant. Colleagues, uh, we are disappointed the union has commenced a work stoppage. Our goal is an outcome that is of value for all parties.